<sighs> hey guys, uh, welcome back to You Go For The Memories. After being set up, it's, it's getting pretty late. I think I'm just going to turn it back to home, you know, get some sleep. Whew, playing card games really takes it out of the guy. Oh, hey Simon. Well, it's about time. Go, go on now, off to your room. Okay, Simon. Now, here's something interesting I wanted to mention. If you remember at the beginning of the game where, like, Simon was trying to stop us from, like, leaving, you had the option to run away or keep listening. Now, if you keep, keep pressing the keep listening button to, like, what he has to say, you're, you're not given a choice and he automatically takes you to your room. Meaning, you miss out on everything we just experienced the last few parts. Running and, like, finding out Tayana and Jono, fighting the villagers, dueling Seto, and all that, like, stuff. It's weird, it's like, you miss out on that, and plus, I highly recommend that you don't do the keep listening option, because, like, then you miss out on, like, the opponents to unlock them in free duel mode. See, free duel mode, there, you don't, you don't run the risk of, like, getting a game over or anything like you do in the campaign, you can just duel the opponents as many times as you want, that helps you, you know, getting the rare cards that you want, or getting more cards. Yeah, it's kind of weird, because, like, when I first, like, got this game... I did press the runaway option. I didn't listen. And then when we, like, went... And then when I went back to the game, like, I don't know, we got re re restarted it for whatever reason. And... Then I did keep... I pressed the keep listening option twice, and then I decided to just run away, because I thought it would just keep looping. And it's like... Yeah, it's kind of odd, but most people on their first trot... Pr first run of the game would probably say keep listening, they'll be brought all the way here and they'd be like, whoa, wait, this is pretty fast, it's a weird option to do. I really hope you're ready to call it a day. Yeah, it's kind of odd. I feel kind of sorry for Simon. You know, I wonder if the prince, us, like, does this often. I mean, this guy must might as well just be our caretaker. I mean, who knows, maybe, you know, our pharaoh and mommy and da our pharaoh and queen, our mommy and daddy might be too busy to, you know, spend time with us and they may or may not hate us, I don't know. Yeah, it must be hard on Simon, man, you know, he's devoted and stuff. I'm sure the us, the prince, does like him, but, you know, in the typical anime, like, show, or, you know, we rebel because we want, like, a life and all that. We do love Simon, but, you know. Sometimes I wonder if the prince does this just to annoy me. Nice little, uh, glowing effect from that candle. That's pretty cool. Oh, hi, uh, this is just a guard, but, uh, we don't actually get to see, like, what he looks like fully. We just got this profile picture of him. Kind of odd, but, uh, whatever. What's well, Simon Muram? We've got trouble. The, the High Mage, the High Mage Haishin and his men. They wield a strange power. They're invading the palace! Wait, what? What? I know, Simon, right? I think it's sorcery, my lord. I'm afraid there's not we can do to fend them off. Where's the High Mage now? In the palace hall, my lord. Oh, epic music here. Hai Shin, Hai Shin, what could that dog have in mind? W what the? Hmm. You know, it could be worse. Oh, ah, you remember him? From the beginning of the game, that opening cutscene where he was searching those for. when he found that forbidden treasure and laughed maniacally. Yep, this is Hai Shin, the High Mage. It's good to see you again, Simon Muran. You dare to revolt? Are you mad? Mad? Me? I don't think so. I've come to claim my throne. Your throne? Yes, Simon, I just said that. Yes, my throne, for, na for I now have the power. The power? No, it can't be! Simon, that could literally mean ev every anything. Stop ruining my moment. I see recognition in your eyes, but then we both draw our roots from our sorcerer's forefathers. The power of darkness? <sighs> yes, Simon, jeez. Way to ruin the surprise. That's right. I've discovered the forbidden treasure. This is my boomstick! <gasps> oh, hi, uh, random servant girl. Uh, there's this other game, Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom. It actually, like, takes characters from this game and uses them. This is one of our, like, allies or whatever, but her name... They give her a name, and she's just called Fizz Diz. It's one word, but it's like, it's a weird name, but, eh, whatever. In this game, she's little, she has even less importance. Prince Atem! 
The High Mage Hai Shin has invaded the palace. This place is too dangerous. You must leave at once. Yeah, good call. Seto. No! Hey! Prince Tem, did you hope to escape me? We meet again. I, I think you got those lines backwards, Seto. Eh, whatever. All right, men, away with this servant. I wish to speak with the prince. By your command. Prince and Tim! Be quiet and come with us. And that is the last time we ever see her. Why do you flee, Atem? I should already hold the king and queen captive. Mommy and daddy? Running away would only provoke Haishin to end their lives. Is that what you want? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I want. Something that only one of royal blood would know. The location of Malayam item. Tell me where it is and I'll spare the king and queen. You know where it is, so tell me. Really, either option won't do you any good. Won't, it'll do the same thing regardless of your option, but I'm gonna refuse. Our mom and dad wouldn't want us to, and you know what, I, it's important to us, too. Don't take me for a fool, you know where it is. My prince. Oh, Simon? Simon Muran, you're alive. <gasps> The Millennium Puzzle, Yugi's slash Atem's trademark. Dear Prince, here is the Millennium Item. Take it, take it and run! Atem gets Millennium Puzzle. Now, that doesn't really mean anything. It should mean something, but it really doesn't. Uh, insert the Legend of Zelda jingle here. Get jingle here. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. But now we finally get our puzzle, our trademark. Now we truly are. Yami slash Atem slash Yu-Gi-Oh slash Dan Green Yu-Gi-Oh Bridge style. <laughs> you must keep this treasure from falling into the hands of these vermin. Ooh, Simon. I can hardly see your pupils anymore, but oh jeez, dude, you're wrecked. But jeez, how'd you get here? I thought you'd get blown by the blood and you're still able to get all the way over here, man. Dude, you're a trooper. The treasure is the final key to unlocking the seal to great power. Should it fall into the hands of the wicked, it would mean Armageddon. Well, well, you couldn't have brought it at a better time. Hand the key over to me right now, and I might help the two of you escape from my shin. Hmm. That's odd. Ignore this cur. He wags his tail at Haitian's command. He is not to be trusted. Leave him to me, my prince. You must escape. Are you sure? Out of my way, old man. Go, my prince. Run. Again, it doesn't... He'll, even if you say stay, he'll just say no, run, and I guess why would we stay? It's like, <sighs> sorry, Simon. Ugh. Oh man, we didn't get that. F oh! Do not move, you are mine. I see you found them, Seto. Well done. Yes, my lord. You didn't think you'd escape me, did you? You know, for a second there, I thought I could, and I would. There's no point in resisting. Admit your defeat. And hand it over. Give me the Millennium Item. Only one option remains, my lord, my prince. You must do battle with Hai Shin. Challenge him to a duel with your cards and Millennium Item. Yeah, so we got a duel with this uh, head guy. It's kind of odd. I mean, he crippled the entire like palace with, with his Millennium Item, and he, he has to challenge us to a card game. You know, a duel can mean anything. A duel with swords, a bit hand to hand, but no, he has to challenge me to a card game for some reason. Passing does you nothing, so you have to duel this guy. A wasted effort, boy. You lack the power to defeat me. I don't know, I mean... I am the prince. And I'm a pretty good... I think I've done pretty well in this game. Uh, let's see. If I can beat you... Yeah, we get some uh, neat music here. You know, it's epic time because we're fighting that main guy. Anyway, the field here is permanently darkness. Maybe I shouldn't cast the casted it, and it's affected our very card playing like place. Anyway, there's a field spell here called Yami. You can get this field back to get, but in the campaign there will be like uh, times later on where the field will be permanent, like you know, a certain element or whatever. Here, all fiends and spellcasters get a 500 attack and defense boost. And all fairies lose 500 attack and defense. Here I got a fiend, so this guy gets powered up, so uh, thanks, Aishin. Uh, let's, uh, got a Raiga key, but let's clear this our hand. 
you know, get some better cards going on. Because, I mean, this guy should probably be the toughest guy we've fought. But let's see what uh, how difficult this guy is. I mean, Seto, I didn't let him do anything, but I think I can take him down. Uh, whoa! Yeah! 3,500. Oh, really? Yeah, Meteor B Dragon. That actually stands for Black. Meteor Black Dragon. 3,500 attack points. Well, that's a pretty, um, <laughs> very, uh, jump, a very high difficulty spike. I got Raigaki. Maybe it's, may, may, who knows what other cards he got, but, uh, maybe he got lucky there. Whoa! Black Skull Dragon? 3,200? Oh, it's insane. You might be wondering, how am I supposed to beat this? Well, guess what, you know that exception to like the rule I said about like anyone you duel except for one person results in a game over? Yeah, this is the guy. You're actually supposed to lose this duel because, of course, look at his cards. They're overpowered. There's absolutely no way that you could probably beat this guy. Cosmo Queen. Ugh. Thanks to the field spell, it gains a 500 attack and defense point boost since it's the spellcaster. Yeah, so really, there's absolutely no way to beat this guy. And even if by some fluke you manage to do it on your first try, and even if you, you know, start a new game plus and try again, look, get this. This guy will keep dueling you until you, until he beats you. There's the lose screen. The you lose screen. Ouch. Yeah, he'll keep dueling you. It's like, oh yeah, you get a second chance, but I don't. Yeah, that's real fair. But then again, this guy's got magical power. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. And since this is an RPG classified as an RPG, something different should have happened. It'd actually be kind of interesting, but I guess not. And we lost. How are we going to get out of this one, though? I mean, we're, we lost the Millennium Puzzle already? Uh, that's the Millennium, Millennium, Millennium Item. It's the Millennium Puzzle. Uh, you saw that. My, my bad. Foolish child, you've wasted my time. If you insist on keeping the Millennium Puzzle, I'll just rip it from your lifeless fingers. Should've just done this from the beginning, Haishin, I mean... <laughs> oh. <sighs> Out of my way, old man, or else... Simon, my prince, Shadow Millennium Puzzle, you must not hand it over to this vile creature. Out of my way, old man, get your hands off me! Prince, the puzzle, don't give them the puzzle! Yeah, this is kind of odd. Simon's holding him back. It's kind of odd, man. I shouldn't. You've got a Millennium item there. Uh, blast him away. <laughs> I guess not. And it's kind of odd here. So again, if you choose don't shatter the puzzle, he'll just say, please shatter it. Another, again, you don't have a choice here. It's kind of odd that it starts you off on this option. Maybe it's a little detail version, but then again, eh, I don't know. It's <laughs> probably not. But anyway, we have no choice. We've got to shatter this thing. <laughs> No! Yep. And now, oh. In the anime, if you notice the background, there's a bunch of like up and down staircases, twisty and turvy like rooms and whatnot. In the anime, this is how the pharaoh's mind was depicted as a maze because he had lost his memory in the anime. Listen to this music, man. This is some like one of the creepiest music pieces I've ever heard. I really, really like it. It's actually one of the highlights I have of this game. This music. You hear it a grand total of three times in this game. I really do love it, but oh man. Uh, where are we? And Simon, you look... you look just <laughs> good as new. A ten. Thank goodness, you've awoken. We're inside the Millennium Puzzle. We shattered it, and apparently we're inside of it now. Huh. To be precise, your soul is now sealed within the puzzle. Huh. Really? I'm sorry, my prince, but this was the only way I could save you and the puzzle. I couldn't allow you to simply hand over the puzzle to the likes of Haishin. The power of darkness that Haishin sought to unravel could only lead to destruction. 
One day, when someone puts the puzzle together again, you will live to walk among men. Until that day comes, sleep, my prince. Kind of a weird thing to say there, Simon, but uh, I'm sure there's someone out there destined to assemble the puzzle. In the end, that person in the Millennium Puzzle will guide you back to our world. Now rest, dear prince. Close your eyes. Well, uh, let's see what happens then. See you guys next time. I'm out.